All right, let's talk about Tommy DeVito, who all of a sudden can't stop winning. The Giants have won three straight with him at the quarterback position, and he's looked good out there. He's been a key part in what's getting them these wins. Now, again, what is the ceiling of Tommy DeVito? Well, let's get into it. Let's talk about what is he and, you know, what's going right for him at this point. I'm going to start off with a negative. It, it You know, when there's a player like this, I feel like people only want to focus on the positives, which I do understand, right? I mean, He's Tommy DeVito. No one's expecting any, you know, uh, good things to happen, really, right when he entered the league. So, like, when he makes a bad play, everyone kind of excuses it. And when he makes a good play, people talk about it. Well, there are some bad plays. This one, so one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside here on a third and eight. As you see, DeVito's going to take the snap. He's going to look downfield. And this isn't open. It's wide open, right? I mean, this is a very open receiver. It's Wandale Robinson, who's really been a key player for them. I mean, he's, uh, you know, that's, I can make a whole video on him. Maybe at some point I will. Uh, you know, he had a great game against the Packers in this one. And this is another, you know, uh, example of that. He is definitely, you know, wide open here. As you see, he's just missed. I mean, that was a missed throw. So, you know, Wandale Robinson, uh, unfortunately couldn't get the yards totally up because again, on the season, he hasn't really done, a, a, you know, a lot, but this game, I thought he was really good, uh, you know, gets, a, you know, an opening there, unfortunately, for, uh, you know, DeVito, he did miss him, like, it, again, it happens, quarterbacks miss throws, it is what it is, just, I want to paint the whole picture, right, but that being said, I did legitimately think he played well out there, but also a play like this, which, like, I do think that his rushing ability can be a real positive asset for him, and I think it's a real, you know, positive attribute to his game, the way this play is designed to work, you see the blocking concept on the screen. Uh, he's going to fake as though it's going to be a handoff to uh, the halfback. Uh, and you're hopeful that the player that I've circled in white, the edge rusher, he believes it's going to be a handoff to the halfback and not Tommy DeVito keeping the ball himself. Okay, well, let's let's see how this works. Watch as one uh, DeVito takes the snap. He runs towards the bottom of the screen. And you see right here, I mean, you know, that edge rusher definitely fooled by this because me, you're not, maybe not expecting Tommy DeVito to be this, you know, huge rusher of the football. But DeVito doing a good job on this play of, you know, getting towards the edge. And now, okay. You know, well-called play, all that stuff. Now Tommy DeVito himself has to see what he can do in open space, right? Well, watch how right off the bat you are going to see him move up. He gets to this point, and this is really a great uh, sp uh, spot by him. Also, uh, I am going to change the uh, change something here real quick. Okay, we're zooming out a bit. I was, you know, this is the only... Uh, angle that the broadcast footage showed of this play because you know they're doing the pitcher and pitcher thing which not to get too sidetracked but I hate this stuff why are we show I'm watching both games I have the you know split screen up I'm watching both of the games why are you now making it that I'm now watching uh, it in this way and in fact one of the street I watch on YouTube TV one of the streams was ahead of the other one for whatever reason and so I actually got spoiled on the Packers uh, Giants game at one point because I saw the play on the other uh, screen that happened before it so that was annoying. Uh, but anyway, uh, moving on, um, you see Tommy DeVito in a one-on-one -on -one matchup and watch him sidestep that defender, actually sidesteps another defender and runs into his own guy, Wandell Robinson. That's the only reason it wasn't a touchdown, but was pretty close. And again, being able to make plays like that happen is certainly key to having success. So great stuff there by Tommy DeVito. Also, a play like this is just fun. So the way this is going to work is it's a, a flea flicker. I love a good flea flicker. Feels like they always work, right? Uh, it's Wando Robinson. Yet again, he's the receiver uh, who they're going to look towards here. But the whole thing is with Wando Robinson, uh, you know, again, it's a flea flicker. So he's kind of trying to sell as though he's not actually going to be doing much. Watch as when he moves towards the top of the screen, it's going to be Devondre Campbell, the linebacker who picks him up. So, okay, Cool, you know, uh, Campbell still making sure that he's not fully you know, falling for this. Actually, I feel Green Bay in general uh, playing this very well. I'm not sure if they thought this could be coming or what, but you see, they're all you know some linebackers are dropping back in the coverage now, despite the fact that Barkley has the football. So uh, you know, good stuff there. You see, Barkley flips the ball back to Devito, who's going to say, you know what, let's take a chance anyway. And I mean, on one hand. This seems like a bad idea, right? Because there's a safety over the top, so you can't throw it deep. Uh, it's now you're basically throwing up a jump ball. At the same time, though, Wandell Robinson on a linebacker, even if it's a good linebacker, uh, you know, the way Wandell Robinson's playing, okay, let's put the ball in his area. Let's see what can happen. And as you see, Robinson, uh, you know, makes it work. Again, you do have to wonder if, you know, that, if that was a corner on Robinson, would that have been intercepted? 
maybe, but also DeVito knew it wasn't a corner on Robinson. So that's not really a fair point to make, I don't think, because, you know, he, part of why he made that throw was because he liked the matchup. So at the end of the day, if it you know doesn't work out, you're an idiot. If it works out, you're a genius. So he was a genius there. But also stuff like this is just like legitimately good stuff. This is going to be a third down and seven situation, and they're going to run just this little pick play rub route thing right underneath. Okay, let's see how this goes. DeVito takes the snap. He looks over in that direction. And again, could he make that throw? He could. But on a third and seven, it's unlikely to be getting a first down. And there is always the dangerous aspect of if you don't throw it with enough speed, you know, pick sixes can happen this way. So he's going to decide to look elsewhere. And watch him do a great job of getting outside the pocket. He's running and he, you know, on the run is going to make this throw. But this is not very open at all, right? This is going to have to take a great throw from Tommy DeVito. However, a great throw it is. I mean, that's just that's just a great play. Like, there's no other way to talk about that. That's just a great play by Tommy DeVito to be able to pull something like that off. And again, at the time, I mean, even now, it was still a big play. They won the game by, you know, a point, or I believe by two points, actually. But even you're know, forgetting about that, just to be able to go up eight points here was just so huge. And being able to pull that off was just a very good play by Tommy DeVito. And also something like this, where it's once again going to be Wandale Robinson. I mean, let's talk about the final drive. And really, it was this final play. This was the play as, you know, Giants, they were winning. They felt good. They got the ball back. You know, Barkley got them in field goal range, but then fumbled the football. A huge return for the Packers. They take the lead. Is this going to be a devastating loss for the Giants? Well, they still have some time left. You got Wondell Robinson one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see what he does here. As you see, DeVito takes the snap. He looks right here, and I mean, you can see Robinson's about to get wide open on this play. However, I still like where DeVito put this football. Watch DeVito hit Robinson in stride. So instead of just getting the 20 yards and a first down and getting on the outside of field goal range, they got easily in field goal range to the point where all they you know, had to worry about then was killing the rest of the clock, getting rid of all green base timeouts and kicking the game winning field goal as time expired. Really great stuff by Tommy DeVito. Great stuff by the Giants. Again, I don't know what to make of all of this. I don't know if you're looking at Tommy DeVito as a, you know, clear starter. I don't think you give him $40 million a year like they did with Daniel Jones last year. Certainly, I think that's not the ideal strategy. I don't know. But I'll say this. Tommy DeVito's made himself a lot of money uh, this stretch uh, of what he's done these past few weeks. Uh, he might not be a starter anywhere, but he's got a backup contract lined up for him at this point, at the very least. Made himself some money there. So good, good work there uh, for Tommy DeVito. That's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.